Since we're born, we're told that stress should be avoided. It's the worst thing in the world and that it's against us. And really, there is no good that can come out of stress. That's what people say. But if you really look closely into it, you can see that there are so many athletes in the world that are able to use stress as their weapon and to make stress work for them not, and not against them. Those people are Rafael Nadal. Uh, those people are Serena Williams. Michael Phelps and Cristiano Ronaldo and you can actually find the a lot of these tools in their autobiographies and their interviews and press conferences and in this video we're gonna talk about what you guys should do to not fall apart in the face of emotional pain and suffering and how to make stress your friend and as I've said earlier work for you and not against you. We are going to give you a step-by-step -step instruction and I'm going to attach a playlist about stress and anxiety right here and what you guys should do about it. So the first tool that I want to talk about is um, going to be is going to include several steps and um, it's better that you write it down, but I'm not sure if you want to write it down, but I really recommend that you guys write it down because it's really, really, really helpful and important. Uh, we are going to go, we're going to talk about uh, this uh, thing okay let's just start without any further ado first step that you need to do in order to be able to com combat stress and really make it your friend is to go out there and uh, and experience it with mindful approach so what you need to do is to go into a stressful event with, with event whether it is a match or a game uh, and really be mindful about what you are thinking and feeling and you shouldn't try to suppress it or do anything. You just, you just should feel the, the feeling and um, really try to try to fix, not fix, how do I say this? Try to recognize the thoughts pattern and what thoughts arise in you when you are under the circumstances. The second step is to, after all of that has happened, you have to take a piece of paper or your iPhone, whatever you prefer, and write all those triggers down. Uh, that can be, I'm, I'm going to give you an example of what it can be. For example, in my case, when I felt very stressed out before the match or during the match, it was... A, a, lot, of this, a lot of thoughts that came up in my mind were all these people that made me doubt myself. A lot of times it was people that were really close to me, like for example, my ex-friends or my friends that are still my friends, uh, maybe coaches, some coaches, because honestly, most of the times people that make you doubt yourself and that hurt you are the closest ones to you. And those thoughts really, uh, for me, w those thoughts were my trigger and still are my triggers and simply by writing it down simply writing it down is gonna help you tremendously because you first of all you're gonna recognize it when it comes up and you're not gonna you're you're just gonna be aware of it and being aware of something is gonna help tremendously but this is not the end of the video this there are some steps that can help you even more than just a simple recognition of the problem. Okay, so you write it down, you realize that these are your triggers. You don't only write down your thoughts, you also should write down your feelings, what you experience. Maybe your heart rate goes up, maybe you just sweat a lot and maybe, maybe you feel like you just want to hide somewhere and not really face um, face your opponent or face whatever you have to face on the court or on the field. Okay, so step number two, write it down. Step number three is you should really now detach yourself from all, all of that and sit down in your, at your home, apartment, locker room, wherever, and think about what would be the best case scenario. You know what I'm saying? Like the best case scenario, for example, for you or for me before the match would be uh, feeling like really excited, not stressed out, but excited and really feeling like you can rise up to whatever challenge is in front of you and feeling that this 
challenge or problem or opponent is really um, is really interesting to to play or whatever you feel is like the best feeling for you that it really helps you get into this like flow state of mind so you imagine you visualize that best case scenario and then step number four is that what are the, the simple steps that you can make to go from this really stressful conditions to this kind of be, uh, best case scenario and one of the tricks uh, that are research based that you can do is to cognitively affect your physiological response and I'm gonna explain it uh, a little bit deeper here so basically when you feel stressed out or stressed adrenaline uh, your body produces adrenaline right and there was this research that showed that people that feel excited and people that feel scared have basically the, the same um, hormonal cocktail ratio but the only difference was really their the stories that they were telling to themselves about the event that was happening so one people were feeling really scared and others felt excited about whatever the event uh, was and so you shouldn't really try to make this step like a very like huge step like from feeling really scared and wanting to you know hide somewhere and not face anything you should go from being really scared to maybe telling yourself okay well maybe not maybe for example one thing you can tell yourself is okay I feel that my heart rate really goes up and you can tell yourself okay my heart is in it is is in it you can say you can tell yourself okay well I'm sweating and my body is really preparing me to rise up to whatever challenge that is in front of me and write those words write those things that you are gonna tell yourself down and this is gonna be the list that you are gonna work on that you're gonna work work with before the match or during the match wherever you need this kind of help and the very last step is <laughs> repeat this uh, again and again as boring as it sounds you a lot of times things that work the best are not necessarily the things that work right away and you have to go through this drill maybe a lot of times and try to do this mental practice uh, regardless of whether or not you see results right away because sometimes it's just um, the event is too stressful and if this tool is not which I'm sure this tool is gonna work like if you really really um, work on it if you really really put a lot of thought thoughts into it and if you really go through all these steps this is for sure like 100% can eliminate at least some percentage of that problem because simply by feeling prepared to and knowing that this is gonna happen that these are my triggers that this is what it feels like what it is gonna feel like and this is what I at least can do is gonna make a huge difference like a very big difference and um, this culture right now I feel like this is my personal opinion um, of toxic positivity and really not trying to visualize problems that might arise really I don't want to say detrimental because I'm really uh, an advocate of uh, positive thinking but at the same time a lot of times when people only are visualizing positive things in their lives uh, they are easily it's so easy to break them down simply because they are just not prepared for the challenge and this is what we are trying to this is what we're trying with this exercise to make you do is to be more prepared for the challenge to be more um, uh, to be more to have more weapons in your arsenal to to rise up to the challenge and to really understand how your psychology works and how your mind works okay 
So I said all the steps. I really want to recommend that you guys go to my uh, YouTube page and go through my playlist with how to, I don't know yet what it's going to be called, but there is going to be stress and anxiety in it and how to deal with it. It's probably gonna be called something like that. I really recommend that you guys go to my page and watch through all tools that I'm gonna give you guys uh, in order to be able to deal with stress and anxiety and really make it your friend. What else was I gonna say? Yeah, just watching my videos is not gonna help. It's really, you guys really have to have to practice it practice it again and again and again and it is gonna help you 100% 200% it's just a matter of practice and really knowing these ideas because if you don't know the ideas which I'm giving to you guys right now so you guys already know these ideas um, but simply knowing ideas is not going to be helpful so you guys have to go out there and really try to implement them and it's gonna be great and um, thank you so much for watching this video till the end now go to the playlist subscribe don't forget to subscribe and um, thanks a lot